Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style. Today we are going to talk about daily stock market review. And we will figure out is it still bearish reversal signal, bull trap, what's going on with the stock market. Please subscribe for YouTube channel and click like button. Thank you so much. Let's move to trading view. If you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup and also other links about all my trainings. Thank you so much. Let's move it. Uh, we still have. Let's start from SPY, right? SPY. Let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using moving averages. White line is MA200, yellow line to MA20, red line MA10, green line MA5. And I'm using only one indicator, MACD indicator. A green line it's a bullish trend, red line it's a bearish trend. So simple. White line it's a signal line. Yellow line it's a zero line between bullish and bearish territory. Also I'm using script, buy and sell script, right? Okay, SPY. Let's start from SPY. Daily time frame. Still bearish trend. The blue line it's still bearish trend. Looks like yeah, we touched that line five times. And this time we touched it already, almost, yeah, almost touched. And we have sell signal on the script, right? Let's maximize it to have a better picture. Uh, sell script gave us sell signal, MA5 didn't confirm yet, MACD is still green, no confirmation, but script already said it's a bearish. Uh, histogram change color to pink from green. It's changing direction on daily time frame. Let's move to four hours. Four hours, it's already changed direction to bearish. Sell script says set for us. It's a bearish trend. MA5 did bearish crossover. Last bar close below all moving averages. It's interesting, yeah, it, it, it's interesting because MA20 did bullish crossover. MA20 is a very powerful uh, moving averages. Usually when it, it cross, it, it bullish. Uh, we should have some bounce. We should have some bounce because of the MA20. We'll see. I'm expecting tomorrow we should have some bounce. We'll see. Still, we have bearish trend, bearish reversal, right? MACD change direction to red color. Change from green to red. Bearish direction. And let's let's check one hour. One hour. One hour. Bearish uh, signal one hour. I'm sorry, let's why one hour okay one hour it was bearish we received buy signal it was kind of yeah, still buy signal on the script ma5 it was trying to do bearish crossover it didn't confirm macd still red still red still bearish it's below zero line in the bearish territory below ma200 still what looks like it wants to it's far from a 20 Far from mid 20, it wants to connect to mid 20. Remember it. One bar far from mid 20, it almost wants to connect to mid 20. Bearish signal on one hour, four hours, daily. Daily sell signal, but still green MACD. Let's move to Q's. Let's move to Q's daily. Similar, similar trend, right? Similar trend from top. Blue line is a trend. It touched that trend five times already, and it's still bearish direction. We still below MA two hundred. It's a bearish trend, even bars above MA twenty. My, when the bar, bars above my 20 is kind of bullish, bullish trend, but on MACD is still bullish, right? On the sell script, it's already gave us sell signal. MACD is still bullish, green light. 
let's move to four hours four hours it changed direction already right on four hours sell signal also ma5 green line get bearish crossover over 10 over over red line it's a bearish trend and it stopped at ma20 ma20 uptrend it's a bullish that's good but um it can bounce from it for short term but it's a bearish trend bearish crossover on the macd on the moving moving averages bearish signal on four hours let's check one hour one hour also bearish signal macd bearish we had bearish divergences here right and it worked there is the bearish divergences always work it's a bearish divergences right and bearish trend still bearish trend even it touched the May 200 and bounced from May 200 and script gave us buy signal. Looks like on one hour it wants to, to, to bounce and it wants to connect to May 20 and have some, I hope to, I, th I think, yeah, don't, yeah, I don't like hope. In trading you don't have hope. We have confirmation, bullish or bearish. Tomorrow it looks like it wants to have some positive they will see if it happened because remember it's option expiration and uh, it, it's huge volatility it can be positive and bearish during the day it's a huge volatility can be bullish day tomorrow for short for one hour time frame let's move to dow jones dow jones daily let's see dow jones daily sell signal it's a very it was very strength right on the macd it changed direction from green to red bearish trend my five ready for bearish crossover last bar close below all moving averages except 200 bearish trend Change. let's check four hours my five did bearish crossover over 10 and 20 bearish trend sell signal last bar far from my 20 and it can try to connect to my 20 usually it does it did before red bar red line on the macd bearish trend on four hours for for uh, the uh, dow jones let's check one hour one hour it's a buy signal no confirmation, no bullish crossover yet. Uh, MACD is still red. It, yeah, histogram has some uh, divergence. Uh, it wants, yeah, it wants to have some correction. It wants to connect to May 20. May 20 is very far. Very far. It wants to have some correction, connection to May 20 and some, some bounce. Looks like tomorrow it wants to have some bounce. We'll see let's move to iwm iwm daily sell signal on a script no confirmation no bearish confirmation yet on macd or or, or moving averages it closed below a 200 still green bullish trend on, on daily time frame for iwm for russell 2000 on four hours it's already bearish right sell signal ma5 did bearish crossover last bar stopped at ma20 macd red bearish signal bearish signal it can bounce from ma20 ma20 did bearish, bullish crossover it's a bullish signal it can bounce from it but still we have bearish signal on if it bounces, it will be just for short time on one hour by on one hour time frame like on a one hour time frame for Russell 2000 you have buy signal no confirmation no bullish crossover yet confirmation yet MACD still red still bearish looks like tomorrow it wants to have also some bounce some bounce it was it wants to connect to MA20 tomorrow We'll see tomorrow can be green positive run for short term, but generally it's a bearish trend. 
Okay, let's let's do let's do any no oh, summary. No, we will do summary after Apple and after we review Apple and Tesla. Let's do Apple, Apple daily, Apple daily, bullish trend on MACD, bullish trend on all indicators daily for Apple. Let's check for hours. For hours still bullish, but we receive sell signal on the script and a May 5 ready for bearish crossover. And for hours still bullish. Let's check one hour. One hour it's already bearish and did bearish crossover. A May 5 did bearish crossover. And it stopped at a May 200 and bounced from a May 200. A May 5 wants to do bullish crossover also. It looks like Apple is strong. Look at it. Yeah, a May 20 is above May 200. Apple wants to have kind of a um, bull, yeah, bull run tomorrow. It wants to have some positive run tomorrow, but it still has bearish divergences, right? Bearish divergences still in the play. Yeah, bearish divergences still MACD red, but it, on a moving averages, it's already did bullish crossover. We'll see if it can have positive bull, uh, green day tomorrow on one hour. In one hour time frame, it can have bullish run. Let's move to Tesla. Tesla daily. Tesla daily, MACD bullish green, MA5. Bullish crossover over MA 10, 20. Last bar close above MA 5, 10, and 20. It's a bullish, bullish signal on daily time frame. Let's check for hours for Tesla. Uh, still bullish, still green MACD. Sell signal on the script, but still bullish. Still bullish, still above uh, MA 5, 10, and above MA 10 and 20. On four hours, let's move to one hour. One hour, it is bearish. MACD red. MA5 was. MA5 wants to do bullish crossover. Wants to do bullish crossover. Buy signal on a script. Looks like similar like Apple. It wants to have some positive run tomorrow. But MACD still bearish. Bearish trend and bearish divergences on histogram. Upper up yeah, price action is price action is bullish, right? On the on the histogram it's a bearish, bearish divergence, bearish divergence. Okay, let's do summary. Let's do summary. Let's use spy. All indexes. Uh, all indexes on daily accept accept uh, spy uh, yeah. Except Dow Jones. On daily, they still kind of bullish with sell signal. On four hours, they already bearish. And one hour, they already bearish also. It's a bull trap with bearish reversal signal. For SPY, IWM, and Qs. For Dow Jones, it's a bearish already on daily time frame, on four hours and one hour. On one hour, looks like indexes, they want to have some correction tomorrow. They want to connect to MA20. It can be some kind of positive quick bull run on one hour, but generally it's a bearish reversal signal after bull trap for all indexes. That's what we have. We change direction from bullish to bearish very quickly. Bearish trend. Thank you so much. Let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational informational purposes only. Please review it. Thank you for watching simple trading style video. I do publish daily update weekly, monthly for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos.
please uh, subscribe for all my channels and click notification but button to support the channel and you will get all my updates and you will learn from it also a lot of videos training videos for you to to learn simple training style thank you so much and good luck bye now